Changing the style of it a little to make it uh, less that's the, less the superhero 90s style acting and bring it more into the more grounded acting of today. And uh, but with a little bit of that of that 90s flavor too, we, we kind of like fe- uh, found a part. It took a, a long time to do, uh, but I think it came out great. I think what the show does really well is marrying the two sides Absolutely. of today and yesterday. I, yeah, he's so iconic of and he sounds. He's not specifically Cajun. He's not specifically. Southern, he's kind of his own Canadian Cajun. Because, you know, Chris is Canadian, so it's, it's its own thing. So when I went in, yeah, I was like, do you guys just want to do a straight up voice match? Do you want to do something where we bring a little more Cajun in? And we kind of went somewhere in the middle. Right. But still adhere as much as possible to the original sound. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, no, I've been, up until people heard it, it was just full of anxiety. Uh, Very well thought out over years and years of storytelling. What was it like to put that helmet in? Similar to AJ, uh-huh. like I was mortified for probably the first three or four episodes. I want. Well, <laughs> David created such a specific and beloved character. Sure. And also, we record so, and so we record when we first start recording. There's no visuals or anything, right. so we don't have any any other reference. We're relying entirely on our voice director Meredith and the series director Jay and either the directors and, you know, Bo, the, the, the writer of it, mm-hmm. to guide us as to where we're going to be. And Magneto is, Ma- Magneto and Storm are theatrical. Come on up. They are 